Hey guys, what's up? So today I am going to review a new series for the Transformers for the Transformers for next year. So today I'm having I mean today I'm gonna review is this. Yes, this is the new Transformers War of Cybertron Siege trilogy. I know a lot of people is gonna say uh, Transformers Siege War Cybertron trilogy or anything else. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying what I what I said. Transformers War Cybertron Siege trilogy. So today we're gonna review is one of the MicroMasters. Yes, the MicroMasters are back from the dead. If you guys don't know what MicroMasters are, MicroMasters are the um are the what Autobots and Decepticons can transform into robots, but they can transform again into weapons. So they are triple changers to robot to vehicle, robot, and to weapons. So yeah, I have one of them is the Battle Patrol. We have this one we have is Autobot Top Shot and we have here is Flak or much better WFC F6 the Battle Mic Micromaster Battle Patrol. No seriously. It's this. Um I don't have the original packaging because I kinda throw it away because well it's Christmas Day. And I wanna say Merry Christmas to everybody, Happy New Year. And a happy holiday, so yes. Um, let me go to show you by uh, let's start up with Autobot Top Shot, so yeah. So here it is Autobot Top Shot, one of the uh, one of the MicroMaster from the Battle Patrol set. So here it is, right here. I like what they did to the sculpting and the detail on this. I wish they were paint, I wish the wheels are painted like black. Um, they all roll pretty good, but not like hard surfaces, like glass, wood, and anything. So much better, like soft, um, like um, like soft and fluffy, like um, um, like rugs and carpet. They they roll they all roll okay, but except for the the left side of the uh, the wheel on the back doesn't roll all that well. So I get getting like a bit stuck, then yeah. Articulation wise, the um the front of the, the whole tank right here can go Genesis Grease, but I think that's where to do the transformation and the um and the thing right and the top of the barrel it can go up and down like that and pretty much that's it for now. He have the Autobot logo on the top right here, you can see it. If any of you guys make like a repo levels or any custom paint like it like it, like black panel lining or any missing silver thing, please let me know so I could do it as well. Like right here is need some black panel lining. You see his face down here as well. Even like as well as over here is need some black panel lining as well. So yeah. And here is a uh, flak. His vehicle mode is one of the coolest one ever. This is like a giant, um, like a Cybertronian um, rocket tank or something. It's like a tank where I have like a bunch of rockets on the top and they shoot up all at the same time. Don't know the name of, name of it. Um, it is it is real pretty good, but not like a hard surface, just like carpet and rug. So yeah, because the wooden wheels are not that pretty good. No articulation wise, but it does go up and down. But that's that to do the transformation, and he he had, he, has, he does have an Autobot symbol right down here. The only missing of this one is like a black panel lining, like over here, probably somewhere, and the thing that treads. Tread wheels over here should be painted something else, and the rest of it over here should be like some black panel lining. If you guys do like, any like custom paints, like like anything, not like like actual custom paint, like like black panel lining, silver, or anything, please let me know so I could do it as well. It's pretty much that's it. Let me do like a size comparison. How about a dwarf class? And why the camera's getting blurry? Yeah, these two are kind of small. So yeah, um, I want to review some more um, War of Cybertron Siege trilogies because when I saw the new figures of it, oh my god, they're they're much better than the one we already have from the past. Like, no stickers, just printed details. And Hasbro, please, no more stickers. Where it's already it's already um suffering of this. Now, so starting the transformation to vehicle robot mode, we're gonna start up with Top Shot. I recommend splitting the barrel 180 degrees like this. 
pull the thing, pull the front of the vehicle up like that, and flip these little things up, and fold everything down, and fold these back up so it could be the heel spur. Unpack the legs, fold everything, fold the arms down, bring the uh, barrel of the gun back, twist it again to 180 degrees again. And I think it's like have it down like this or something. Let me check. Now, it's much better to have it down like this or have it up like that. It doesn't know. For me, um, it's much better to just leave it down for now, I guess. And for flack. Unpack the thing, fold everything out, unpack the legs, flip this thing down. You can see the head right here. Flip the thing back up. Pretty much that's it for now. It's kind of weird. And here it is, top shot and flak and their robot mode. Pretty nothing much of these guys. Just some nice sculpting and detail of these these two. I like what the Hasbro I like Hasbro did. I said they're pretty good. I will gonna get some more MicroMasters to review all of them because I like what they have. Like they almost look like doing like Armada Armada like like um Mike Minicons that could transform into weapons like the Star Saver or the Quasar Saver. Like the the recommend blaster, the star saber, anything. Um, for top shot or take away your ways, um, head can go three hundred sixty degrees, but yeah, you can't actually can't do it. So it's on a swivel, so it does go three hundred sixty degrees. Both of the arms is on a ball joint, so it does go three hundred sixty degrees. Uh, it does go in and out like that, and does go up and down like that, but that's due to the transformation. And here's the one of the problems right here. Both of the legs can pop off pretty easily, so yeah. His waist can his waist can go three hundred degrees, but that's the transformation DD. And there you go. Another arm another legs pop off. So yeah, these two have some major issues. The socket have issues. But that's the the um transformation of the weapon mode, so yeah. Um both of the legs can go in, out, let's go. Like that a bit much forward and much 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 that of the uh, backwards leg can bend, but that due to the transformation, and that's pretty much it for him for top shot. Flack, sadly no hair articulation, and body arms can go to any degrees because it's on a ball joint. Does go in and out all the, all the way in and out like that. G mod uh, Steffy mode, get it? G mod reference. No waist articulation, that's pretty sad as well. Both of the legs can go forward, backwards, bend at the knee. Pretty much that's it. You, you can't get some decent poses, but not that much. So that's pretty disappointed as well. This is a little bit of size comparison with a Prime Master. I think Flak is the shortest one, so yeah. But to transform these two into weapon mode, oh my god, this is better. This is cool and awesome. Start off by pressing the legs down, flip the thing up like that. Um, thing like have the arms spread out like that to twist the body around. All right, and don't forget to pull the the gun barrel down here. Flip everything like that. Fold the legs up. It's one of the hardest part of Pegging in everything at the same time. Like I'm trying to pick these two because there's a peggle right here and here. If the camera can stop being blurry, the two peggle here, here, and the little pegs here and here. Yeah, I'm trying to peg it in. Nothing works, and now the silver is getting scratched for some reason. Yeah, it's hard to peg it in. I don't know what's going on. And that's pretty much that's it for top shot. So he's ready to go. Now for flak, uh, make sure you want to have to peg, um, 
popping out if it could come out Ugh. yeah make sure you fold out the pig like that flip the head down close in the legs right here and have the both of the arms close now bring the whole thing together Pick in everything in. Make sure you want everything up without any mistakes. It's the hardest part to put everything in line with everything. It's one of the most difficult parts as well. Then I got everything right. No, no. So um, there you go, the weapon mode for Flak and Top Shot, and the name of the weapon is let's see, the Electro um, Electro Blaster. That's sort of the name of it, Electro Neuro Blaster. I can't, I cannot pronounce this. It's hardest, man. Bears the uh, um, the data of the uh, weapon. The strength of it is is good. The um, targeting, eh, pretty okay, I guess. But the fire blast, like the rate of the shooting, oh yeah. If there are any weapon could go all the way right here, like f full power maximum, please make a weapon of this. So. Yeah, here it is. Problem is for this one, this the transformation of the weapon mode is pretty hard as well. Um, because about a, a ten hours of it. So, if you guys ever want to actually want to get the the uh, micromasters, good luck with that. Um, I do have an Autobot with me right here. I'm, I'm gonna use Chrome Dome. So I'm gonna transform into a robot mode quick. Um, I'm gonna pay in the weapon right here. Man, it's hard to pick it in, and everything's out of line. Great, this is one of the most. It's one of the most annoying thing apart is combining weapon. Make sure you need to put everything in line. If you don't, then all hell break loose. Like, what the actual fuck is going on? If you guys heard about the new Bakugan series coming up uh, next year, like I know the TV show has it's already been released um, December 23rd, so if you guys already seen the episode, I did, but I on YouTube, I don't have Cartoon Network or anything. Cause I'm always, I'm, I'm still the only um, YouTuber that don't have Cartoon Network and everything, so yeah. Now I am going to bring the camera up right here. And here it is, Chrome Dome with the weapon. With the weapon, so yeah, it's not too much to it. It's just a giant ass uh, rocket cannon. I get to think. Overall, this uh, this battle patrol set's pretty okay, I guess. Problem is the transformation of the weapon mode is hard as hell, and I think that the thing is the articulation of it. So yeah. And not a much poses poses as well, so that's all I need to know need to know for this. So yeah, I, I am gonna review some more. If I am gonna do get some more like up um, or Cybertron Siege trilogy figures. So if you guys can tell me which figures should I review, leave the comment down below. If you want to see more reviews, make sure you could go to the um, make sure you hit the notification bell to see more videos. And also subscribe for me to watch other videos as well. If you want to get some more um, Prime Master stuff, go to. I think they have they have any release in Target. I don't know about Walmart. So yeah, and make sure you make make sure you go to the mid end video probably is, is right now to see um, Akagami's um, 
Prime review, and I think like um just a just one a uh, playlist of just one video of the um and one playlist video of of um War Cybertron series. So yeah, just for like this series. So yeah, it's not too much to say. Till next time, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Steam. And until next time, I'm out.